What if one of the greatest wide receivers in Packers history could return to Green Bay? That's right, former Green Bay Packers All-Pro receiver Devontae Adams has reportedly asked for a trade from the Las Vegas Raiders, raising the tantalizing question, could Adams make his way back to the Packers? In this latest Packers news, we explore the story behind Adams' request, the implications for the Packers, and the exciting possibilities ahead. But it's not just about nostalgia. How would a move like this impact Green Bay's future? Stick around for this in-depth breakdown, and don't forget to comment below with your thoughts on a potential reunion. Hit subscribe to stay updated on all things Packers as we dive into the latest developments. It's been two years since the Green Bay Packers traded Devontae Adams to the Las Vegas Raiders, a move that shook Packers Nation. At the time, it seemed like a new chapter for Adams, reuniting with his college quarterback Derek Carr in Las Vegas. But fast forward to today, and the situation has changed dramatically. According to NFL insider Ian Rappaport, Adams has informed the Raiders that he wants out. This revelation has stunned fans and NFL analysts alike, sparking discussions about the reasons behind this sudden turn of events. Adams' tenure with the Raiders hasn't been what many expected. Despite solid individual performances, including an all-pro season in 2022, the Raiders have struggled to find consistent success. The departure of Derek Carr and the instability at the quarterback position likely played a significant role in Adams' frustrations. As a receiver of his caliber, playing for a team without a clear direction can be disheartening, leading to his desire for a fresh start. The key question now is, where could Adams go? With the Raiders reportedly open to entertaining offers that include a second-round pick and additional compensation, the possibilities seem endless. However, a return to the Packers appears unlikely, especially considering the team's focus on building through the draft. Still, as Packers fans, we can't help but wonder, is a reunion completely out of the question? While the Packers might not be in the market for an aging receiver, the idea of Adams donning the green and gold again stirs up emotions. After all, Adams was a cornerstone of the Packers' offense for eight seasons. Could there be a scenario where the Packers reconsider and bring their former star back to Lambeau? When the Packers traded Devontae Adams to the Raiders in 2022, it marked the end of an era. Adams, a second-round pick in 2014, had established himself as one of the league's premier receivers during his time in Green Bay. His chemistry with Aaron Rodgers was unmatched, leading to countless highlight reel moments and record-breaking performances. For eight seasons, Adams was a key figure in the Packers' offense, amassing over 8,000 receiving yards and 73 touchdowns. The decision to trade Adams wasn't easy for the Packers, but it was made with the future in mind. The team received a first and second round pick in return, which they used to continue their rebuild, focusing on younger talent. At the time, the move was seen as a necessary step toward sustaining long-term success even though it left a void in the receiving core that couldn't be filled overnight. Since Adams' departure, the Packers have invested heavily in rebuilding their receiver position through the draft. Names like Christian Watson, Romeo Dubes, and Jaden Reed represent the future of the Packers' offense. While these young receivers have shown promise, none have yet reached the level of dominance Adams brought to the field week in and week out. This has left fans wondering, would the Packers have been better off keeping Adams? Adams's individual success in Las Vegas further underscored what the Packers lost. In his first season with the Raiders, he led the NFL in touchdown receptions and continued to prove why he's considered one of the best in the game. Yet despite his personal accolades, Adams's impact in Green Bay continues to linger, reminding fans of a special connection he had with the Packers organization. The Packers' decision to trade Adams was part of a broader strategy to rebuild their offense with younger talent. Following his departure, the Packers turned to the draft to find the next generation of playmakers. Christian Watson, a second-round pick in 2022, was seen as a potential star with his rare combination of size, speed, and athleticism. Alongside him, Romeo Dews, selected in the same draft, showed flashes of brilliance in his rookie season. The 2023 draft brought even more reinforcements. The Packers selected Jaden Reed, a versatile and dynamic receiver 
with the ability to line up both outside and in the slot. This influx of young talent was aimed at creating a new identity for the Packers' offense, one that would evolve as quarterback Jordan Love took over from Aaron Rodgers. Despite the optimism surrounding these young receivers, it's clear that the Packers are still searching for a true number one target. Watson has had moments where he's looked like a star, but consistency has been an issue. Dubes and Reed have also shown potential but are still developing their game. This has led some fans to question whether the Packers should have invested in a proven veteran to help ease the transition. Could Devontae Adams be the missing piece in this new-look offense? While it seems unlikely the Packers would trade for him, given their youth movement, the thought of Adams mentoring the next generation of Packers receivers is certainly intriguing. His experience and leadership could provide invaluable guidance as the team navigates a new era under Jordan Love. One of the biggest factors working against a potential reunion is the financial aspect. Adams is still under contract through 2026, and his salary would be a significant cap hit for the Packers. Green Bay has historically been cautious when it comes to big money deals, especially for aging players. This would likely be the primary hurdle in any discussions about bringing Adams back. Yet, there is always room for sentimentality in sports, especially when it comes to players who have made such a profound impact on a franchise. Adams was more than just a receiver for the Packers. He was a leader, a game changer, and a beloved figure in the locker room. His connection with the fans and the organization ran deep, which is why the idea of his return continues to linger, even if it's mostly wishful thinking. At the end of the day, the Packers' focus remains on the future, and they are unlikely to veer off course for a reunion. But as the trade deadline approaches and Adams' situation in Las Vegas becomes more untenable, one can't help but wonder if Green Bay might entertain the idea, if only for a brief moment. While the Packers may not be in the market for Adams, there is another team that could be, and it's a team that no Packers fan wants to see him join, the Detroit Lions. Imagine Adams lining up alongside Amon Ross St. Brown and Jameson Williams, creating one of the most dangerous receiving trios in the NFL. For the Packers, this would be a nightmare come true. The Lions are already on the rise, with a young and talented roster that is making waves in the NFC North. Adding a player of Adams' caliber could elevate them to a legitimate contender. For the Packers, this would not only mean facing Adams twice a year, but also watching their division rival benefit from his skills, Rimger, a prospect that no fan wants to consider. From a football perspective, Detroit makes sense as a landing spot for Adams. They have a talented quarterback in Jared Goff, a strong offensive line, and a young core that is hungry to win. The addition of Adams could be the final piece that puts them over the top in the division. For Packers fans, this scenario is hard to swallow, but it's one that can't be ignored. The thought of Adams suiting up for the Lions is a reminder of how unpredictable the NFL can be. While Green Bay focuses on their rebuild, the rest of the NFC North isn't standing still. If Adams ends up in Detroit, the Packers could find themselves in a tougher battle for division supremacy than anyone expected. Outside of Detroit, there are several other teams that could be in the mix for Adams' services. One of the most intriguing possibilities is a reunion with Aaron Rodgers in New York. The Jets have been looking for a game-changing receiver to pair with Rodgers, and who better than his former go-to target. While Rodgers is currently sidelined with an injury, the idea of him and Adams teaming up again is tantalizing for Jets fans. Another team to watch is the Kansas City Chiefs. With Patrick Mahomes at the helm, the Chiefs are always in the conversation when it comes to adding top-tier talent. Mahomes could certainly use a receiver of Adams' caliber, especially after the departure of Tyreek Hill left a void in their passing attack. The thought of Mahomes throwing to Adams is enough to make any defensive coordinator lose sleep. The Buffalo Bills are another team that could make a move for Adams. While they already have Stefan Diggs, pairing him with Adams would give quarterback Josh Allen an embarrassment of riches at the receiver position. The Bills are in win-now mode, and adding Adams could be the move that pushes them over the top in the AFC. Ultimately, 
Where Adams ends up will depend on a variety of factors, including the compensation the Raiders are seeking and the cap space available. But one thing is clear. No matter where he goes, Adams will make an immediate impact and could change the trajectory of a franchise. Wherever Adams ends up, one thing is certain, he will bring an elite level of talent to his new team. At 32 years old, Adams might not be the youngest receiver in the league, but he has shown no signs of slowing down. His route running ability, hands, and football IQ make him a nightmare for defenses, and his presence alone demands extra attention from defensive backs. Adams has proven time and again that he can perform at the highest level, regardless of the quarterback throwing him the ball. While his connection with Aaron Rodgers was special, his success in Las Vegas shows that he can thrive in any offensive system. This versatility makes him an attractive option for teams looking to boost their passing game. One of the most underrated aspects of Adams' game is his leadership. In Green Bay, he was a mentor to younger receivers and a respected voice in the locker room. His work ethic and professionalism set a standard for others to follow, making him a valuable asset beyond just his on-field production. For teams with young receivers, Adams could serve as both a playmaker and a mentor. While there are questions about how long Adams can maintain his elite level of play, there's little doubt that he has plenty left in the tank. For a team in need of a top-tier receiver, Adams represents a rare opportunity to add one of the best in the game, even if only for a few more seasons. For the Packers, the post-Adams era has been marked by change and uncertainty. With Aaron Rodgers now in New York and Jordan Love taking over as the starting quarterback, the Packers are in the midst of a rebuild. While there have been growing pains, there is also reason for optimism as the team looks to the future. The young receiving core, led by Christian Watson and Romeo Dews, is still developing, and the Packers have shown patience in allowing these players to grow. Jordan Love, meanwhile, has demonstrated flashes of potential, though consistency remains a work in progress. The decision to move on from both Rodgers and Adams was made with the long-term future in mind, and the Packers are committed to seeing this rebuild through. While it's tempting to imagine a reunion with Adams, the reality is that the Packers are focused on building something new. The team has a strong foundation, with young talent on both sides of the ball. The front office and coaching staff believe that with time and development, the Packers can return to contention without needing to bring back their former star receiver. Still, Adams' departure, and now his potential availability, raises the question of what could have been. Would the Packers be in a better position today if they had kept him? Or is the team on the right track, building for sustained success in the future? Only time will tell, but one thing is certain. Packers fans will always have a special place in their hearts for Devontae Adams. As news of Devontae Adams' trade requests spread, Packers fans have been buzzing with opinions. Some fans are clamoring for the team to make a move and bring back their former star. They argue that Adams could provide the veteran leadership and playmaking ability that the young receiving core needs to take the next step. Others, however, are more cautious. They point to the Packers' current strategy of building through the draft and developing young talent, arguing that trading for Adams would be a step backward. These fans believe that the team should stay the course and focus on the future rather than looking to the past. The debate has raged on social media, with fans passionately discussing the pros and cons of a potential Adams reunion. Some are willing to overlook the financial hurdles and the team's long-term plans in favor of recapturing the magic of the Rogers adams connection. Others are content to watch the team grow and develop without making a big splash. Ultimately, the decision will rest with the Packers' front office. General Manager Brian Gutekunst has been steadfast in his commitment to building for the future, and it's unlikely that he will deviate from that plan. But as we've seen time and again in the NFL, anything is possible. For now, Packers fans will continue to dream about what could be and wait to see how this story unfolds. As the Packers continue their journey in the post rogers and Adams era, they face a pivotal moment in their rebuilding process. Jordan Love has shown glimpses of promise, but the team's success will depend on his development and the growth of the young receiving core. 
The front office has made it clear that they are focused on the future, but the potential availability of Adams adds an interesting wrinkle to their plans. For Devontae Adams, the future is uncertain. Will the Raiders grant his trade request, or will he remain in Las Vegas for the rest of the season? And if he is traded, where will he land? While a return to Green Bay seems unlikely, it's a storyline that will continue to capture the imagination of Packers fans. As we look ahead, one thing is clear. The Packers are committed to building for sustained success. Whether that includes a reunion with Devontae Adams or not, the team's focus remains on developing its young core and preparing for the future. For Packers fans, the journey may be uncertain, but it's one filled with hope and excitement for what's to come. In this rapidly evolving Packers news, the idea of Devontae Adams returning to Green Bay remains a tantalizing possibility, albeit an unlikely one. As the Packers continue their rebuild, the focus will remain on the future, with or without their former star. But the story of Adams, his trade request, and the potential ripple effects across the NFL will be one to watch closely. What do you think, Packers fans? Should the team make a move for Adams, or is it time to fully commit to the new generation? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for all the latest Packers updates. Go Pack Go!